Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. What is a temperature rise door and where are they required? That's another great question. A temperature rise door is a hollow metal door that has a special heat blocking core. You actually have one in your kitchen if you think about it. If you look at your stove and you turn it on to 500 degrees, close the door and let it come up to temperature, hold your hand near the door, you're gonna feel the heat and you'll be respectful of that heat but it's not gonna be 500 degrees heat. Wood doors don't need this special uh, heat blocking core because they're already solid core. Now let's look at where they're required. Chapter seven of the IBC talks about fire ratings and the different types of walls that they are going into, what types of construction. I'll be basing my answer today on references from IBC 2015. Other editions are very similar, always consult your state or local code as well. Fire door assemblies and interior exit stairways and ramps and exit passageways shall have a maximum transmitted temperature rise of not more than 450 degrees over ambient at the end of 30 minutes of standard fire test exposure. This means if it's 70 degrees in the building, that you won't feel the heat more than 520 degrees as you pass by the door. As you're walking down the stairs, that is your exit that gets you out of the building. And on every level, you're going to pass by the, a door that is temperature rise rated. So if there's a fire on the other side, the heat will be something that you're respectful of, but it's not going to catch your clothing on fire or make you panic and want to go up to the roof or some other place that you shouldn't be. There are There is an exception to this. The maximum transmitted temperature rise is not required in buildings that have full automatic sprinkler systems in accordance with section 903 of the same code. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking in the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. If you have a code question, you can email me at katherine.flower at asaabloy.com, and I may use it in a future episode. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.